Hiya. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish V here and a big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here, it is some hair, fashion, makeup, beauty, vlogging, and a lot of perfume reviews. Yes, if you have not already subscribed, come on, you know what to do. Please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell. Please watch my videos and do leave me some thumbs up. And guys, girls, women, men, please don't forget to comment in my comment section as I am so enjoying the interaction with all of you guys. So yes, please do keep your comments coming. So y'all, without further ado, let's jump right into today's perfume review. And the one I've got for you today, it is from the house of Vera Wong. And this one, it is Love Struck um, Floral Rush. And as you can see, the purple box here, and it's got the lemon green writing. Um, and not a lot going on with the box. It's just... Um, a good old plain box it's not too thick um the quality of the box but it's good for storing and then when you open it up this is what it comes like down in there and i think it's well secured y'all it's a secured um packaging so if we put the box aside oh and i want to say it's a 30 mils bottle but it came in such a huge box but yeah, security is key because it's glass, so it can get broken. So I think they did well with that. However, let's move on to this stunning looking bottle. As you can see, it is also in purpley lilac color and it's got a camouflage. And this is what the Love Struck perfume, because I've got the Love Struck, the original. It's um, kind of like um, a burgundy color bottle. And then I saw this one, Love Struck Floral Rush, and I just had to purchase it to see what it smells like. And I couldn't wait to get my hands on there. I've tested it, tried it out, um, both on my clothing and on my skin. And I'm here to give you all the details about this um love struck floral rush okay so i haven't used it a lot i used it like three times y'all and um in those three times i've gathered my evidence and i'm coming here with it so yay okay so i'm gonna bring the bottle up close and personal quickly so you can have a good look at it and then you can see if you like the bottle and want to purchase it for the bottle because some perfume y'all i purchase them pretty much just for the look of the bottle i don't know why i do that and i don't know if any of you out there is like that like myself which you just do a a bottle purchase opposed to the actual smell inside and i do that quite a lot often so okay this is what the bottle looks like up close and personal and as you can see the lilac camouflage going on to match the purple and the green and i think it's a very pretty bottle and it looks cute it don't go with my bedroom y'all so i don't display this one because I'm a very, well, people say it's OCD, but I like matchy matchy and all that sort of stuff. And I can't really display this because it don't go with the decor, y'all. I'm sorry, but I do love the bottle. And, um, but it's in a cupboard. I don't display this one. Anyway, moving on, let me just um, put the notes on the screen right here for you all. And while you are looking at the notes, I'm going to get a test strip. I'm going to spray the test strip and spray the atmosphere. And let's discuss Love Struck Floral Rush with all the details. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to say that Love Struck Floral Rush... What you get is a predominantly sweet, fresh, fruity, peachy kind of champagne. Very sparkling. It's very bright, but yet it also have this lightness to it. And it smells great in the atmosphere. For me, this Love Struck um, 
floral rush it's a little bit more stronger than the love struck that do not smell alike it's two different fragrances so when if you are looking for this sparkling champagne um peach fruity uh fresh um perfume this is probably one that you can try out and um like i said it's it smells very clean sparkling it's bright but yet it have this lightness to it as well so mm -hmm, it is good this one for me i would prefer this in the warmer weather opposed to the colder weather it smells more like i would want to smell like it in the summer than in the winter time so yeah that is what you get in the atmosphere sparkling fruity sweet champagne that is what is radiating here okay moving on i'm gonna smell my test repeal and i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the fragrance and i must say that this one it's got that um cashmere um kind of quality going on you can smell like there is some cashmere um as it's tapering off that's what you are getting floating around and it does smell really really um good and feminine yeah it's very feminine so let's smell our test strip like i've said and let's see what else we are discovering as it's drying down okay so like i said still got this little fruitiness but then on the test strip you get this still champagne sparkling fruity peachy and then you move on with some kind of cashmere scent then now once once it's drying down you get this um type of uh uh, uh mild woodiness to it but florals and it keep popping and it's going on and yeah i think um this one is a good one for the warmer months like i've said like like you could wear it in the winter i suppose but for me the scent is giving me fresh summery vibe that's what the smell is giving to me and with the love struck before that one i liked it in the colder weather i don't know if they have created them for what I've, i'm thinking but that's how the scent feel to me and on me it's a moderate longevity it lasts longer on fabric than on the skin on your skin you will get like a one to two hour then it becomes a very intimate um skin scent so when you go close you still smell the whiff of it on your skin but it doesn't st it stops shouting after an hour it stops shouting really so on your clothes you will get like a three to four hour longevity that's when i put um three sprays on each side it was still whiffing but very um intimate um it did it the the silage isn't um wow factor after about 45 minutes but you still smell it for three to four hours but you have to be close so that's what i've noticed with this one and um it do smell good it smells good so yeah definitely you wouldn't purchase this one and when you spray it you are out of your mind like what is in this bottle like no you you don't get that impression but is it like um a gem i don't think so but um i haven't regretted this purchase anyway it's 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 fine it's fine but it's not something that i'm gonna go on the rooftop and start shouting about or that i have to possess in my collection um because i don't feel that way about this um love struck but again it's a nice fresh clean sparkling um champagne fruity floral a little bit woody a little cashmere and yeah it 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 it's it's um all right but to say fantastic fabulous mm -mm, those wouldn't be the word of description that i would use for this one but a young girl fresh clean i'm gonna pass this down by the way my daughter's 
<clears throat> no, one in particular, um, my 14 year old girl, she uses perfume like a water. Like if I give her this bottle, or I would say when I give her this bottle, I mean, it will, it won't even last her a week. When she's going to school, she just put this thing on like, like, anyway, I've got so much. So I keep um, passing them down because I spent money to purchase them. It's only right that they have, they are used. So are be, are get used. So yeah, you can't save all of them forever. So I'm going to pass this one down. So if you don't see it again in any other future videos, it's all finished and it's all gone. So little bit of info there and yeah so i'm not gonna keep you too long i think i've covered um this love struck uh floral rush with a lot of detail uh, occasion to wear this one too um would be like a tea party barbecue or every day fresh to work you smell good clean and it's not offensive so i think you could wear this one to work even if you work with um people like uh, close beside you because it doesn't induce a headache it's inoffensive and it's great so that's what i have to say about this one um take good care of yourself until next time lavish re bye